everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your host Majestic speaking with another episode of MechWarrior Online here. And today, as you can see, for this daily destruction episode, we are taking out the Nightgeier B variant. And we have one UAC-2 in each arm and one UAC-10 in each torso. So this isn't a standard B variant with all the Omnipods. It is a little bit of a Frankenstein mech. Maybe dive into the build another time. But for this episode, we're going all Daka, and I love the high-mounted hard points, especially for those UAC 10s. You know, if I want to just fire those off, at least I know they're they're torso level, so I can really just you know lay into anyone with the heavier lead. So we're gonna be, um, as you can see, we are on uh, Viridian Bog here, grouping up with the rest of the team, going towards the uh, Delta Six, Delta Five quadrants, and uh, probably trying to get a flank on him if we can. Group up maybe with some lights, mediums. We'll see what uh, you know which part of our team wants to stick with us and who else is going to get hit. This spear up here in front of us, though, he's taking a little bit of a whooping right here in the beginning from long range, so not too much damage. I'm going to get sprayed a little bit. Maybe go into night vision or thermal vision. I, I like night vision at first in case there's anything immediately in front of me, just to see you know their outline. Rather long range first to see if there's anything far off in the distance, and then I switch over to thermal once they get closer because you know you get that that blazing white profile once they get uh, pretty close. So we're gonna whip around the corner here into uh, Charlie Five. We have a Raven with us, and Bravo is a cicada, and it looks like uh, and two cicadas. So there's two cicadas around here. We're gonna get some early shots on these guys, and they're gonna turn around almost immediately. They do not want to go toe to toe with the Daka. I'm getting a little bit of support from the Stormcrow at this point, and they're gonna turn away. That Cicada is completely cored in his center torso. Can't see him lasting too long, so Charlie should be out of the battle pretty quickly. Bravo looks like he's still trying to cop some uh, peaks around the corner, and he's joined by, it looks like, is that a Warhammer with him? I'm pretty sure. We're gonna keep our focus on the cicada. Just, uh, you know, again, keep that information as long as we possibly can. We are getting pegged with some missiles despite that incoming missile warning. Look like they were grouped up in fives. Yeah, they looks like they're five, so not too much damage being taken. And this this mech is pretty meaty for the most part, so I have no problems hanging in there for a little bit, get, get a couple more shots off. Trade, you know, ultimately, we wanna trade more damage than we are receiving, so. Getting a little bit of support fire from, uh, you know, the, the Stormcrow and now this Raven. We're all grouping up on the Warhammer, and they have some support on top of the plateau, but we're gonna go for the kill here. Just lay into this guy with some lead here. Gonna get a little bit of a jam in the uac 2s. Hopefully the tents can carry us through, and there he goes. There goes a kill for us, and a double kill. We got that Cicada, he backed up, and both of them do go down. The Summoner's gonna back up off the plateau. They just do not wanna be hit with the Daka and another Warhammer trying to focus in on us. He's got some aim. He did get some shots off on our center torso and our left torso, putting it to uh, orange and, and red for the most part. But he had to back up ultimately because it's just too much. But here comes a Highlander. And we do have to keep in mind our heat management probably will overheat at some point because we do want to lay down a constant stream of Daka as we get our continuous support from some of our lights who are flanking from the Charlie 4, Delta 4 quadrant, swinging around. And yeah, we're gonna keep firing in on him. That torsos are good. The torsos look like they're gonna go pretty soon. And there we go, we do overheat, but we're, we're gonna constantly keep laying down the fire and we get some support from the rest of the team and ultimately take him out of the fight. We have a King Crab up here, Foxtrot on top of the hill. He's getting distracted by the Locust and that gives us some free shots. He's not gonna turn around to come after us and we do overheat again, but we did get some great shots off and the rest of the team was able to swarm in and ultimately get the kill. 7-2 to two at this point, and we're taking a spot up here on the plateau where our enemy was before, so we do have a good vantage point. And checking where everyone else is, and there comes another opponent on that Warhammer. He's still up here, and ultimately our team is able to just completely swarm from all angles and take him out. 8-3 to three now. And it looks based off where my team is heading that the, the remaining three or four mechs might be around the plateau on the other side where we initially started our flank on those cicadas. And when they did, you know, add one to their side, so it's now eight to four. Delta is over here, the summoner. Looks like he's in bad shape. He already lost uh, two fifths or 40% of his loadout. 
And I can't imagine him lasting too much longer. He's he's moving away from us, but this trebuchet hotel is moving kind of towards us. And they do get another kill, but so do we. Two more kills for them. Nine to six at this point. So we really need to close in fast and get these guys down. This trebuchet is right around the corner. We're going to put it down some dock on him, and he is not going to like it at all. And ultimately, our team does get two kills on them. Just the Raven left, and it looks like he's trying to run away. Weak legs. He There he goes. And that is going to close out the round. Holy cow, man, that escalated very, very quickly. Pretty swift in only under 10 minutes, like 28 seconds past that 10 minute mark. Let's see how we did. Two kills, six assists, 941 damage with eight components destroyed. I love this build, love this mech. Awesome little DACA build for the clan heavies. Really having a lot of fun with it. But that's going to do it for this episode of Mech Warrior Online. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Leave a comment in the section below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description. And I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. Take care, guys.